Oh my god, that is just not nice. How yeah. much did everything cost, right? So... Oh, controversial! Okay, 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 okay. okay. Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be another taste test. It's our favourite to film on this channel and I really feel like it's your favourite to watch. <laughs> this was like one of our, our first kind of... Today's video is an Audi versus branded taste test challenge. <laughs> you probably know the drill by now if you're new and you've never seen one of these videos. Basically testing a whole load of branded food you're used to seeing in your household against the Aldi dupes or the Aldi versions of those generic household brands. I'll be wearing a blindfold so it's a fair test. Lawrence will be bringing me the food. Point goes to whichever food I prefer. If I can, I will also guess whether I think it's the Aldi or branded version. Sometimes you just really don't know. If the food is the exact same, which has happened so many times, yep. uh, they will both get a point, yeah? That's right. Yeah. That's the way it works. We've got 10 items on each side, but there's also going to be a bonus round at the end. There's a bonus there's round. There's a bonus round where Ditsy, who just made an entrance, heralded his appearance, he'll be sampling whiskers with Audi oh, yeah. stuck in jelly. So <laughs> it's a like for like, let's see which one he goes for. Yeah, so that'll be all the way at the end, it's like a little bonus taste test. We actually get asked to do that all the time. Anyway, yeah. let's get straight into the taste test. If you're new, by the way, I would love it if you could subscribe. I make three videos every single week all about living your best life on a budget. If you're excited for this video and you like this kind of video, also give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. <laughs> Let's get into the taste testing. Lemonade. So lemonade is actually one of my favorite fizzy drinks and for some reason I've never done a taste test. Things like Coca-Cola, you can really taste the difference between the branded and the non-branded, whereas I think this is gonna be difficult, I really do. We have the branded Schweeps Diet Lemonade or Slimline, one pound, against the Aldi's version, which is the Diet Lemonade um, from the Vive brand. Now we actually normally get just the basic lemonade from Aldi. It's like 17p and it's fantastic. This was 29p, both two liters. So it's a massive price difference if you ask me. Here's lemonade. lemonade. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh, lemony. Oh, different. Mm, it's good. It's good. That's really difficult. Why? They taste different or no different? No different. Right. That is so difficult. Hang on. That tastes a bit more sweet. Okay. Just a tiny bit more sweet. I'd go for like the less sweet one. Does that make sense? They both taste really tart and lemony. So I'm going to go with that as my favourite. But other than that, it's like a tiny difference. Other than that, I'd buy a drink either, to be honest. Yeah, the one you prefer is the branded. Oh, controversial. Sweeps. <laughs> so branded. Yeah, it tastes like going to my grandma's when I was... It tastes like, like family parties. Yeah. We have the Nature's Valley branded, crunchy, Canadian maple syrup oat bars. There are 10 bars in here, or five packs with two in each. Again, it's the Aldi version. I've never tried these. These are the Crunchy Granola Bars, Harvest Morn brand, maple syrup again. And there's actually six bars in here. So six bars of two, so 12 individual bars. For the Aldi maple bars, you are going to pay 89p. The branded, for the Nature's Valley, you're going to pay £2.39. I think that's actually quite a big price difference, to be honest, and you get less in there. So let's hope these taste a lot, lot better. Some granola bars. Thank you very much. Oh, they feel small. Yeah. Don't they? They've shrunk over the years. They have indeed. No, not as good as I remember. Really? Mmm. Mmm. Wow. There, didn't you? I'm gonna go there. You, that's what you prefer. Yeah, really. they're very underwhelming. Bad texture, the flavour tastes very faux, okay. tastes really chemically, and the texture's rubbish. Like, uh, I, I think this might be branded, because I remember growing up, I had these in my like lunch boxes, and like yeah. breaking my teeth trying to eat them. They were so crunchy, but that's kind of what's nice about them. That's my winner. I think it might be the branded, but regardless, it tastes a lot nicer. Well, you might be surprised to learn that that's actually the Audi one. No way. Yeah. No way. Yeah. No way. Yeah. That is Nature's Valley. Yeah. 
I actually can't believe that. Have they changed their recipes? The Aldi one is what Nature's Valley used to be. Mmm. I remember that. Yeah, I like that proper crunch. And the price difference yeah. is enormous. And you get less in the box. Okay. Next up, we are trying rice. We've never actually tasted rice in this channel, so this one is exciting. We've got the branded pilau rice here. This is actually 99p and it is a 250 gram bag. They're microwavable rice as well because that makes things easy. And then against the Aldi pilau rice, also a 250 grams bag and this was 37p? 37p. 37p, so a big price difference there again. Very similar ingredients, but let's see which one. I don't think I've actually had either. Oh, why does that smell so good? Did you add curry powder? No, they smell that good. All the spices in it, like cumin and... Oh yeah, of course, the cumin and stuff. Yeah. Mmm, why is that so... I've never tried this. Mmm, a lot different. Really? Yeah. I much prefer this one. Right, okay. I think this one's got more like, um, I don't know, you'll have to tell us. This one's more turmeric, actually. Okay. I like this one. For me, this one's just got a lot more flavor. That one is the branded option. Oh, well, oh, that okay. is really nice. You can't deny that. Yeah, a lot of cumin in that one. Now try this one. Less. It's less flavor. It's, it's okay. Mm. What a Chinese rice, I saw it in the shops. I need to try that. Okay, next up we're taste testing coffee. We have the Aldi coffee here, which is from the Al Cafe brand. Obviously, as you can see, we do actually drink that anyway. One pound 89 for a 200 gram jar. And we're going to be testing it against the branded Nescafe Gold Blend. So obviously the packagings are really similar. The Nescafe jar for 100 grams, so for half the amount, we're gonna pay three pounds and nine P. That's a huge price difference. Okay, so Lawrence is taste testing the coffee because mm. you're better with coffee. Well, I have it every day. Yeah. And so. Wait a minute, I have some water in between. Okay, so that coffee, it's weird. Like when you when you got a blindfold on, you taste stuff that you wouldn't normally. I know. So like that taste, I had like a smoky taste to it. Cool. Yeah. So this one has a bit more of a smoky flavor. That one has a bit more of a creamy flavor. Yeah. But I think there's a bit more flavor here. I'm gonna go with this one. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's the branded. Is it? Yeah. Mmm, okay. So I didn't really think there'd be that much of a difference. There is. Mmm. There is um, a difference, but I would buy the Aldi one, to be honest, still. Yeah, I mean... I'm like, used to that flavour now. Anyway. Yeah, branded one's better, but it's not like four times better. Twix bars or Jive bars. So we have the branded Twix bars here. It's two pounds for this tube and you get nine, you get nine double packs in there. And for only 55p from Aldi, you have the Jive bars. You get five twin packs in there. So it will work out around half the price for Jives than it is for Twix. So again, a massive price difference. Okay, so we've got the Twix and okay. the Aldi equivalent. Thank you. The Jives. The Jives. All right, so one feels a bit smaller. Okay, I'll try this one first. Good. Now this one. Okay. Yeah, you got thoughts? Mm -hmm. I enjoyed them both, I really did. I would buy both. My point for the favorite does go here, okay. and I think that's branded. Do you? Yeah, the biscuit tastes like branded Twixes. Like the biscuit's really nice and a bit salty and the caramel's a bit more... Stretchy. Stretchy, like that. Whereas this is really nice, it's got a really nice flavour to it and I would buy it and eat it, enjoy it. But the caramel isn't very stretchy. Um, and yeah, this one just, I like this. Yeah, you're right. That's yeah? branded. Well done, branded Twix. That was enjoyable though. Mm. What are you looking at? You want one? Yeah. <laughs> so just recently Aldi started releasing their own kind of Lotos Biscoff dupes. And I think they're fabulous, especially the spread. We found the biscuits and they're called caramelized biscuits and they're from the Belmont brand in Aldi. 65p for 200 grams of these. And then we're going to team them against the branded, which is the Lotos Biscoff biscuits. Now, don't ask me why they're in this form. I'll tell you anyway. Lawrence got about 
3,000 through the post for a work thing. So that's great. I have a lot of baking to do. 250 grand pack, sorry, from Tesco would be 125. 125. So again, you know, a relatively fair amount different, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Biscuits. Oh, I'm excited. Okay. Thank you very much. Go. Oh, they actually feel different. Mm. Smell the exact same. Okay. Festive taste, you know? Yes, it's, it's got like a kind of cinnamon vibe. Yeah. I can't wait to do some Christmas baking with these. Mm. Mm. Okay, look, I'm going to do that again. Which one less you prefer? Yeah, that's my winner. That wow. gets my point. It's um, just got a bit more of a cinnamony, biscuity, like caramelised flavour. Mm -hmm. And also, do this in a minute, but the texture's a lot better. Okay. It's like got a real. I like biscuits that properly crunch. Snap. Snap. That's definitely getting my point. If you had to guess which one was... I which? have no idea. Fair enough. Uh, the one you preferred is the Audi. Yay! Yeah. Soft spread though, the Audi do, is uh, out of this world. I think we've taste tested every single tomato soup that every single supermarket sells. So now we're moving on to mushroom soup. So we have the branded Heinz mushroom soup here. It's a 400 gram tin. It was 99p for this tin. 95p. 95p, sorry. And that's going to go against the Aldi's mushroom soup uh, from the Bramwells, which was 33p. Looking at the ingredients, they are pretty much the exact same and in the same order again. Here we go. There's one. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Mushroom soup never smells good, does it? Hmm, let's see what it tastes like. Oh my god, that's just not nice. Mmm, metally. Metally? I think so, yeah. Alright. Very salty, actually. Wow, they are similar. Really? Yeah. So you're not keen on either of them? Uh-oh. Oh, I'm gonna go with that, it's the better one. They are very, very similar. That one's got a weird tang to it, a weird mm. cream in it. Okay, so the one you prefer is the branded one. Okay. So the Heinz one comes out on top. Does it? Mm. That is interesting. That's branded. It does look better. Yeah, I prefer the, the Heinz one, yeah. yeah. That one tastes more creamy. That's it, it's got this like dairy tang to it that's just too, Bit too much. It's a bit overpowering, to be honest. Yeah. Okay, we are now going to be trying some Weetabix. So we have the branded Weetabix here. For a tube of 12, you're going to pay £1.50, which is actually really steep. And we're going to test them against the Audi version, which is the Wheat Bisques, for 36. So for three times the amount, you're also going to pay £1.49. So there's one penny difference. So you're getting three times as much if you buy from Aldi already. So already, I think that's pretty good. Right. Thank you. I'm going to eat them really quick. Go on then. No one likes a soggy meat bix Well, actually lots of people do apparently. It's hard to like know what's on my spoon. Is there anything on my spoon? No. Uh, no. <laughs> Is there yeah, yeah. enough? Stuff, yeah. Okay. Why does it taste savoury? Why does it taste savoury? Try the first one again, just to make sure. They're so similar, I can't work it out. Alright. Now that does taste the same as that, so I really can't... That's alright, if, if they taste exactly the same, they taste exactly the same. So I'm, I can't... They're going to yeah. have to get the same point. I thought this one tasted sweet at first, then this one actually came through quite sweet the more I was eating it. So I think the milk wasn't helping because I was eating the dry bits. Generally, they actually both taste... The exact same, I can't pick. Put one hand, put your hand down on one side. Okay, that's wheat mix, and the other side is Audi. Oh, okay. Look, they look the exact same. Yeah, so Audi, wheat mix. They literally thing. look, oh, I've dropped mushy wheat mix everywhere. It's <laughs> <laughs> quite good though, because. Um, three times the price. Yeah. <laughs> or three times as cheap. Yeah. Fondant Fancies. We have the branded Mr. Kipling Fondant Fancies. I actually haven't had these since I was probably in primary school. Eight French Fancies in here, and these are £2.20. The Aldi Fondant Fancies, again, eight Fondant Fancies, and these are £1.09. About half price, about half the price. So, Fondant Fancies. Thank you very much. Amo, so we've gone for the, the pink one, yeah? Go for the pink ones. 
Hmm, both smell zingy. I'll try this one first. So it's safe to say I don't like fondant fantasies. Yeah, I like it. No. Oh, you don't like you did. that. I thought I did. Right. That is like eating sugar. It's really difficult to be honest. Like they're they're very, very similar. This is just a bit more zingy, so I'll go for that because I like zingy stuff. Good one, just this one there. Yeah, okay. Would you be able to guess which one's which? No, no, no. no. Uh, so the one you prefer is the Audi one. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Oh, mm. uh, cool, 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 cool. Wow, it's like electric pink. Yeah, they're great. We're gonna have to give those to my sister mm. and the kids. Okay, next up we are trying some crisps, Sunbite style crisps. I've never actually tried either, although Lawrence is a big fan of these, so I feel like he should do this taste test. Sour cream and cracked black pepper flavor Sunbites. For a six pack branded, you'll pay a pound. And moving over to the Aldi dupes, first of all, the packaging is so, so similar. These are the Aldi, the foodie market version. And again, they are multigrain sour cream and cracked black pepper. For a six pack, you're going to pay 99p. So this one's really interesting because we didn't actually plan this, but they happen to be the same price. I've not had them probably for a, a little while now. The sour cream is so good. Okay. These are the flavors that I remember, I think. <laughs> I think these are the branded ones. These ones are the Audi ones. But the, the thing is, these taste a lot like sour cream. You taste sour cream, the black pepper, you taste the black pepper. I feel like the flavors are more authentic in this one. Both of them have got their merits. And do you know what? I don't really feel like I like one more than the other. They are different and nice in their own way. I think that's the brand. I think that one's Audi. I can't say I prefer one over the other. Branded. It's a draw. Is that branded an Audi? Yeah. 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 I thought so. They are much different, you know, the flavor. Okay. But I personally think I prefer the branded. Mm. But the yeah, the Aldi ones have like a really nice strong flavor. Out of, I'm gonna say this before you say the results, out of all the taste tests we've done so far, and I will link down the playlists down below, this is probably the one, like the selection of items we happen to choose. I think the closest as well. It's, it feels like the closest, yeah. but I think you're right. Like we, we've chosen items. Purposely to like, which are hard to replicate. Yeah. Here are the results. Go on. Okay, so tested 10 items. Branded were preferred five times and Audi three times. The other two times we're it draw. was a draw. So five, three and two draws. Pretty close, but I think this might be the first time that branded items have actually won. Oh, wow, I'm shocked, personally. If one had gone the other way, it would have been a draw, draw. It would have been 6-6. Six, six. So seven, five oh, yeah. is closer than you think. Well done, both Audi and branded. You know, you know oh, how yeah. much did everything cost, right? So those Audi products you've seen today, the, the complete package, they cost £8.54. The branded ones, which remember in a lot of cases, those packages are smaller as well, £16.37. So double the price. Double. And in most cases, less product. Less product for that. It was an interesting one today. Mm. Really hope you enjoyed. I loved filming that one, to be honest. I'm going to have some more of that rice and crisps. <laughs> I'll see you again very, very soon. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, we love you very much. <laughs> Bye. Bye.